Hello everybody. This is part of an ongoing one-off showing you some software that those of you from mostly from the open source world that those of you who have home computers should get on your computer. Um, this will fall into the general theme that there's a lot of things between the seams that we don't necessarily formally teach you in class. I'll give you the example of a Microsoft Office class or an AutoCAD class where we teach a particular software, but maybe one of our assumptions is that you know how to use a flat ASCII editor. And this Notepad++ is an open source flat ASCII editor, which allows you to edit and kind of slightly debug different types of programming language, but more importantly, data. You will see that fundamental within civil, very often you're dealing with some sort of data. With, within any type of engineering, you're dealing with some sort of data. And so dealing with flat ASCII data, it becomes necessary to have a, an editor that allows you to deal with things like tabs, carriage returns, line feeds, um, hidden characters or special characters, if you would. And so I give you here the notepad. The notepad, notepad++ is the download. It is an open source program and it's got a lot of great stuff. It's got a wiki and so I'm kind of showing you that here. But if you notice here, this will allow you to kind of open up and for instance here, it's opened up a change.log. I can now do file, open another file and maybe I can go ahead and let's see where that's at. Um, change.log again, it's going to let me open it up. Nah, it's not going to let me because it's already open. So let me go here and I'm going to go right now file, save as. It's trying to put it now. Once again, you need to know where you're, put, you're putting your stuff. I'm clicking on save as and my home computer is not working so good. And so it's hanging up on me here. I'm going to try to do file again, save as. It should come up with some sort of thing there. I'm going to call this change to dot log. Let me save that here. I don't have it. I do not because of where this program was placed. I don't have an opportunity to store it there, so I'm going to put it in the mark attack folder instead. I'm going to hit yes and change to log right there. And I'm going to do file, save as, again, this time in change mark 3.log. So I've got two files essentially the same. And then I can do file, open, and I'm going to go ahead and open mark change log 2. And what I've got here now, if you see, is I've got two files that I can kind of go back and forth between. So if I go here to change log 2 and I just add a couple of characters right here and it shows me here right away that I've made a chain so I can go file save it and you see it's not red anymore and my sense is someplace under here we have a plugin that would be a compare file and so we're going to compare the two. So as we're comparing between these two, and let's see whether we can actually see what's going on. It should show us some differences between one and the other. So if I put in here, and I'm going to put in another one, HHH here, it'll probably allow me to compare. Now, I don't know how that works, but we'll see how that works. So we go here, plugins, compare. Clear results. And let's try it again. Plugins, compare. And it will actually go through and compare how things line up and whatever else. So that's not why we do this. Let me go ahead and file. Exit. I'm not going to change the save and save the changes here. I'll go back now to Notepad here. 
and file close. And put in some data. For instance, Northings Eastings data. Maybe 1,000, comma, 1,000, comma, 100, 2,000, comma, 2,000, comma, 106, 5,000, comma, 2,000, 3,000, comma, 107. So you might have any net set of data there. What does this allow you to do? Predominantly, it allows you to see things here. If you notice as I go through, I'm going to hit my right arrow here, and it jumps. It lets you sees you where, shows you where there are hidden and not uh, hidden characters. So, for instance, here we can view here. We can go ahead, and there should be some settings here that allow us to show the carriage returns. So, we can go to settings preferences here, editing documentation, file association, print, different pass, auto completion, miscellaneous, and mostly what you're going to want to look for here is a way to show, and this is very slow today, a way to show special characters. So we'll probably go back here, hit close, Show white space and tab, view, show end of line, view, show all characters, it's probably the one you really want. So you're seeing that there's a carriage return line feed, which of course means you could go through and do search. place and then once again the ability to show extended characters so you can more or less replace if you would backslash new line backslash return backslash new line with backslash return and it did return that so you have this ability to kind of go ahead and it may seem like not a big thing this is very slow but this ability to deal with special characters in terms of commas so for instance one thing you might want, want to do is you might want to go ahead and grab columns. The two things you're really looking for is the ability to do that and how to deal with columns. And so we're going to go here and this time we're going to do a replace of comma with a bunch of spaces, a comma, and a bunch more spaces. We're going to say replace all and that's spread out our data here. Now one of the settings that you probably should have on here, and I don't know that I'm going to find it right here, is a, a column setting. So when we go to here to view, search, and we'll look for that. Setting up basically a column format is the other thing that becomes really useful in an editor. So we'll cover that the next time. Um, but I just want to point out that this is one of, uh, this is really not my preferred engine, but it is an open source engine and it does allow you to do things now and deal with um, lots of different programs, Ruby, etc. Um, so this Notepad++ is a relatively well laid out open source flat ASCII editor that deals on a lot of different programs. So I would recommend getting it into your computers and you'll be using it to deal with data along with Excel and a few other things. The next thing I'll show for this one, probably the last one, will take you through some of the things that I consider why this is decent. The one thing I'm going to look for before I do that is that it deals with columns. It does deal with special characters. The next thing to deal with is column. Thanks for listening.